uh hi everyone uh in this video i'm just going to cover the topic called uh, nested reports um so many of the uh, apex users uh, will aware about this nested report plugin but uh, some of the few beginners in oracle apex will not aware about this plugin so uh, in this video i'm just going to explain how can we create uh, create the nested report by using this uh, plugin so before into that i'm just going to explain some few things like uh this uh, the main usage of this nested report plugin is nothing but when you want to uh, <coughs> uh passing some uh, parent table value to the child table see for example here i am uh, mentioning as a uh, department table uh, region and here in the below you can able to see the employee report region correct so when the user clicks the accounting automatically uh, the value has been changed here so for, uh, i'm going to click the research here so automatically based on the research i am populating the records in the emp, EMP table so the relationship between these two uh, regions is nothing but department number so <clears throat> so <clears throat> for the look and feel wise uh, many of the people uh, will not suggest these kind of methods so uh, to enhance the look and feel uh, we can go for this uh, plugin okay so so today in this demo uh, i will i will show you how can we create this uh, nested report plugin okay so first thing is i need to uh, load the packages so first thing is i am going to compile this package okay now the package is done so next step is uh, we need to uh, load <coughs> load the plugin into the plugin section correct so already i have load this uh, plugin here into the shared components okay so next step is uh, we need to create the uh, report okay so in the body section i am going to create a region so i just call it as uh, <coughs> department region i am calling as a uh, interactive report so here i am selecting the department table click save <coughs> okay mr Uh, now you can able to see the uh, department table here uh, after that what i am going to do like uh, i am going to create one dynamic action okay so in the column section uh, i just uh, set the target type as uh, link here okay and uh, target i am going to select as ur so here i am just going to uh, paste the javascript colon void zero okay and uh, <clears throat> i'm going to take the department number as a link so i am just going to copy this code and uh, here i am using a uh, search icon here uh, based on your needs you can able to change your uh, own icon so paste it in the link text and uh, this is my jquery class so i paste is a class here click save okay uh, now you can able to uh, see one uh, search symbol here okay so, next thing is i am going to create on click of department number okay here i am going to select as jquery selector okay and uh, this is my class name okay next thing is in the true action i am going to select our uh, plugin okay 
So here you can able to see uh, so much of setting options like mode, default callback and everything. So if you have uh, some a customized template you can upload and you can able to uh, bring up this like uh, look and feel and everything. So as of now I'm using the default uh, settings feature. Okay, so <clears throat> these are the things like you can able to set the maximum height if you want to go for <clears throat> animations like you can uh, check this uh, checkbox if you want to perform any load uh, indicator symbols you can uh, check this thing uh, and if you want to go for stretch uh, stretching the report then you can do that okay see for example i am going to click the stretch report here in the details query i am going to select provide one query here select star from emp table where uh, dpt number equal to our column value will be the dpt right so i need to pass within the single quotes okay uh, even though if you want to uh, bring up with any html tags like you if you want to perform any hyperlinks or if you want to add any css that is also possible here okay uh, okay so here after that i need to go for the affected elements as region so i need to select our region called department region save okay now i'm going to refresh this page so when you are executing this page you can't able to see the query right because it, it will show only one report but when the user click the department number column you can see the value has been opened here uh, for example, uh, you have clicked the accounting, right? So based on the accounting, the department number has been passed into our query and another report will open with inside the report. If I am clicking the research, now you can see that based on the research, we are populating the data. If I am going to click the sales, you can see based on the sales, we can able to uh, find the EMP records. So for the look and feel wise, it will be more uh, useful uh, uh, to the end user's perspective. Even though if you want to go for n number of hyperlinks, you can simply add this uh, into your uh, codes and you can able to bring this feature. And uh, if you want to perform any uh, load indication and if you want to go for stretch reports or something like this you can give it like this as of now i am i removed i removed the checkbox of stretch reports now you can see how it is works see now <coughs> it doesn't uh, give the uh, stretch correct so if i enable this stretch report the entire uh, report will occupy the parent table structure. So thank you so much for watching this.